What's up everyone and welcome back to Pertaina Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Plays. We have an action-packed episode ready for you today full of intense plays, so don't blink for a second because you won't want to miss a moment of this. Charging our way into our number 5 spot is Quincy Jenkins on Poppy, and at the start we see that our team is behind roughly 13,000 gold as they look for picks to get them back in the game. Despite Kazix going down, she picks up the kill on Graves and books it away as the enemy team follows closely behind. She makes it back to Nidalee just as Zed ults, and thanks to her passive she takes a lot less damage as Nidalee heals her and then lands a clutch spear on LeBlanc from downtown while Poppy lines up an amazing heroic charge on Zed. Together they take him down and now we see the enemy Lee Sin go in with Resonating Strike, opening up an opportunity for Pantheon to ult behind him. Poppy moves in quick and lines up another heroic charge, pushing him straight into the wall as they get off a ton of damage but he still manages to escape. As we speed it up one last time, we see her play very carefully because they have no vision up this far in the enemy jungle. After eating up the Tibber's damage, she decides to back off as Pantheon goes down and now Nidalee is in trouble, so she runs up ahead in order to set up an ambush. Annie moves in toward the brush, but Poppy and Nidalee sync up perfectly to take them both down at the same time, ending this play at a whopping 5 for 2 exchange despite being down 13,000 gold. Coming in at our number 4 play, we have Spooky Wraith on Zed with a well-executed roam from mid. At the beginning, we see a fight going on a bot lane as the enemy Thresh makes it out with Kale Ultimate just to get picked off by a shuriken. The enemy team is overextended, so Zed moves in on Bane, ulting her and using Ignite, but he immediately gets stunned, and as soon as he gets out, we see a great shuriken and shadow swap to get the kill and get him out as the pop damage on Bane gets him the triple. He then starts life stealing off the creeps as he eyes up the enemy Elise, hoping to steal away that red buff when his cooldowns come back up. All of a sudden, he moves in with the shadow swap into a Z, but he gets stunned and takes a lot of damage, but a final shadow slash seals the deal on his fourth kill after a great roam to bottom lane. Landing in at our third place spot, we have Razor EUS on one hell of a manly Yasuo. With four members of the enemy team low and healthy, mans up and moves in, dashing through a minion to close the gap, and then dashing one more time to score the kill on Lucian. He then turns to win walls, he escapes back to the tower and decides to play it risky and stick around. Vi charges up her Q and goes in, but he exchanges a lot of damage back to her as we slow it down and see the flow bar just max out in time to negate the body slam from Gragas. As the fat man runs away, he EQs Tark into the air, chaining it with his ultimate, and then an immediate Q to pick up the quad in a nail-biting 1v4 to save his tower. Coming in at second place, we have a challenger elo play coming from RTNP Care Hide on Syndra. Right off the bat, we see the friendly Thresh miss the hook, and then Shaco comes over the wall as Red Team engages and immediately crushes Thresh. They continue the fight with a solar flare to slow down Syndra, but she turns with her ultimate ignite and Zanya's on the enemy Kazix. We then see a godly scatter of the weak to stun all five members of the enemy team, allowing her to finish off the bug as she backs up to dodge the Shenton. Now with the momentum on their side and the teleport coming in from Singed, her team gets her another kill on the enemy ADC as they go on to take the tier 2 tower off of this play. A beautiful QR ignite onto Kazix, followed by Zanya's and then the perfect 5 man stun, 6 if you're including Shaco's clone, completely turns the tides of this fight in blue team's favor. And for our number 1 pro play for this week, we have Chocopaki with a huge play on Vayne during a fight at Baron. At the beginning we see the enemy team on Baron already as Blitzcrank looks for a hook on Vayne but finds Leona instead. With the enemy team distracted by securing Baron, she moves in and pops final hour going after the enemy Ezreal as the arcane shifts in for the kill. She bladed the rune kingdom as we freeze it to point out for those who haven't seen Teemo at the top left waiting the entire time this was going on in stealth on top of his mushroom. Vayne knows that she can't take a straight on 1v4 and decides to try and make her way over to her teammate. Blitzcrank rushes over and exhausts Vayne to save Ezreal, forcing her to flash for the kill as she tumbles for stealth and keeps on kiting back towards Teemo. A nice condemn pushes Riven back just as Broken Wings comes back up, and then we see another tumble dodge as things fall apart quickly for Red Team, resulting in a triple for Vayne and a kill for the little guy. Let's check that out one more time as we see Riven so close to landing that auto attack, but the amazing condemn pushes her back as Riven uses broken wings to close the gap, but the clutch tumble avoids the third Q as well as the Hydra. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have El Cabotrapos on Thresh, showing the true power of getting in someone's head. We see him rushing over to Dragon to ward it because he knows someone on the enemy team might be doing it. Some key things to note here are that the enemy Vi doesn't have smite up and he also has no teammates near the dragon pit to help him stop her so he comes up with an interesting idea to defend it. As the dragon gets lower and lower, Vi gets nervous that he might walk up and steal it so she decides to wait for smite to come off cooldown. All of a sudden he tosses out a lantern behind him and aggressively moves in so she gets spooked and queues out allowing Thresh to take the dragon uncontested. By pretending to lantern someone on his team, Vi had to assume it could be Red Team's jungler and decided it's best to just leave and give it up. Thanks everyone for watching and don't forget to give this video some love by clicking that like button and sharing it however you can. Have a great weekend and I'll see everyone back here early next week for episode 158 of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays.